Right, so with Ard Pella fishing, which is, uh, that's what I do, is you've either got the choices when it comes to presenting the bait on the hook, you, you've got pretty much two choices. You've either got a lasso or you've got a band. Yeah, for me, I'm 100% in the band gang. I find it much more easier, and it's what I'm actually going to go on about in a minute. It's what I'm going to uh, show you how I tie a band. I do it a little bit different to everyone. Yeah, I'm going to show you how I tie them. But if you want to use a lasso, again, that's nothing wrong. It all comes down to, to personal preference. But for me, I, I just find them too fiddly. I find them an absolute pain, if I'm honest, of when they close off. It's just too slow. It's a lot slower to re-lasso one, for me, being a bit fiddly, than it is to, to whip a band on. And I honestly don't believe the fish... Um, makes a difference whatsoever the only time i would say it does make a difference is if you're fishing for massive numbers of fish when presentation is not that important when you have to really big numbers uh, westward i'm thinking of we need to catch eight million fish on a pellet then it'll make a difference i mean it's nice and fast on a bat on a lasso you can be a lot quicker uh, catching a lot more fish on one pellet than you can on a band but for me for, for nice simple everyday fishing when i'm after not massive numbers of fish so that's the way to go for me and the way i tie it so it's a little bit different so the first step i want to do is to thread my band onto the line. So what I do, don't want is my band uh, trapped with any knots. I want my band free running and just nice and loose on the line because I don't want a knot trapping down on it, potentially cutting it and breaking it halfway through a session. That's the last thing I want. So by putting my band on, and then the next thing, this is the quite important bit, is I want to tie the correct size loop in this. What I want to tie is a simple overhand loop and create a loop that's slightly smaller than the size of the shank of the hook I'm going to be using. So in most cases, you're looking at sort of 6 to 10 mil, depending on what size hook. So in this case, I'm going to use a 16, so I'm looking at about a 10 mil shank on my hook at the back end of the hook. So I want to make a loop that's about 8 mil. So I'm going to tie that nice little 8 mil, um, 8 mil loop with my band still free running in it. It's never trapped. And I'm going to snip that nice and flush. So I've just got my line. You can't see any tag end whatsoever. I've pulled it slightly tight, but it doesn't need excessive pressure on this because there's never going to be uh, too much pressure on it and the whipper will keep it in place anyway. So once I've got my band free running in my loop and I've got my loop all nice and trimmed, what I want to do next is thread my um, the top of my hook length through the back of the hook. Yeah, it goes from back to front. So you're doing your knot loss knot, which everyone's pretty familiar with. So I'm going through the back to the front and then I pull that um, hook length all the way through until my knot just touches the back of the eye. Yeah, what I don't want is it to clog the eye up. If it clogs the eye up, I can't get my line back through again. So I want it to be sat just below the eye, just so it's nice and clean for me to get back through there. Nextly, what I want to do is put one revelation over the top of the knot. So in between the knot and the eye, I want to put one revelation just to lock it into place and that'll stop it from moving. Once I've done that, I'll pass over the top of the knot and I'll continue whipping down. I'll whip all the way down to the bottom of that bend just so I give myself that small band, uh, small hair rig that I was talking about. That one to two mil uh, at the very most. I don't want it any uh, longer than that for, for the type of fishing I'm going to be doing and it'll lock it in place, keep it where it is, stop it getting damaged. So I'm going to whip all the way down. It might be 15, 20, 25 turns, all depending on the size of the hook and the diameter of the line. Obviously, that's going to affect how many um, turns you can put around it, but the more the merrier for me. Uh, once I've done that, I'll put one revelation back over all the whipping, just to lock the whipping into place, and I'll put my that tag end, it'll go back through the back of the hook, back out the front again, and that'll lock it in place, and it'll make it kick off lovely. And giving that a nice strong pull, that keeps everything in place, with that, the uh, a knotless knot, I suppose, which you're going to call it. That's the way it's been tied. Keeps everything just where I want it and hopefully presents my band in the perfect position for a fish to hook itself every time it takes that pellet.